How do you add a video to your GetResponse account? I go through it step by step, so check it out. Hey guys, how you doing? It's Cameron here. So um, now that you've had your, uh, you're running through the scripts, you're starting to cut some videos. Now you're going to want to take those videos that you've cut and actually start plugging them into your GetResponse account. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So uh, we're going to go through a couple little technical things here. Nothing crazy. Um, nothing that uh, an average person, there's no coding. There's nothing like that. I'm just going to go through. I don't want you guys to get stuck up on any stupid little things like, oh, gee, I made my videos, but now how, am I, how are people supposed to see them? So the, the thing with these autoresponders like GetResponse and AWeber, MailChimp, um, I don't believe there's actually a place where you can plug the video into. We're going to have to actually kind of mask it and make it look like there's a video there. So I'm going to go through that right now. So first and foremost, uh, if you haven't done so already, you're going to want to upload your video to some form of a video hosting. Uh, YouTube's uh, probably the most popular one. So I've already done that. This is a video that I have cut, uh, you know, maybe about a week or two ago, I believe. Um, and I got it right here. So if you have not yet uploaded the video to your video hosting, YouTube, your own website or Vimeo, whatever, um, do that and then come back to this. So now that you have your video uploaded, um, what we need to do is we're actually going to take a screenshot of the entire screen. So how I do that on my computer and your computer may be a bit different. You're going to have to Google this. Uh, you're going to see on uh, your, your keyboard there, there's going to be the control button in the bottom left. Now this is for PC. I don't know how exactly to do this for Macs. So uh, you may have to Google that as well, how to take a screenshot. So that's Google. Leverage that tool. Google's awesome. Um, so I have an FN button, so I'm going to press the FN button and then I'm going to press the end key or the print screen key. And it doesn't even say print screen. It says PRTSC. And, uh, for myself, this took forever to, to learn this, but, um, you can see right here, it says a screenshot was added, uh, to your Dropbox. That's where I have my screenshots go. They go to my Dropbox. So I'm going to click on that. But it took me forever because I Googled this to take a screenshot of my screen. And I was looking for the print screen button. I couldn't find it forever. I was like, what the? F I was so frustrated. I couldn't find it. But I realized they just made it PRTSC and I just guessed and it worked. So um, if you can't find a print screen button, um, yeah, it's uh, they took out all the vowels. So <laughs> anyways, uh, so now we have the print screen button there. Uh, we got, I mean, uh, now I got the screenshot. So we're going to actually take that screenshot and we got to edit it a little bit. So I'm using uh, Adobe Photoshop. That's my editing software. Um, you don't have to be using Adobe Photoshop. All you need to be using is a uh, program or a system where you're able to uh, crop images. And all we're going to be doing here is we're just going to crop this out right now. So I'm just going to crop this real quick. Um, there we go. I'm going to crop this image real fast. There we are. There we are. I'm just going to press enter. Boom. Now we got a nice little cropped out image. Um, there's actually a line at the top there. You know what? You see there's that line at the top, the very top. There's that little white line. Um, I want to keep this video pretty short, so I'm not going to actually get rid of it. Or you know what? Whatever. We'll get rid of it right now. <coughs> there you go I'll just get rid of it whatever it's okay so I got a nice little cropped out image here um, actually what I have now is I downloaded a little play button once again off Google so all I did is I Google searched uh, a play button vector so if you go to Google go to images go play button vector you can pick up a bunch of images and download them and I'm gonna plug that right here and now I got a nice little play button on top of my image. Let's put that right in the center there. There we go. I'm now going to save this. I'm going to save it to my desktop. I'm going to place it as a, I like PNGs. I'm going to save it as a PNG. I'm just going to say example image delete me. Save that. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Example image delete me. There we are. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our GetResponse account. I already have it open. 
Um, I have a new message here. So see it says create new message. I just got a, I made a phony little list for example stuff and I've got a phony little message here just to go through a uh, tutorial for you. So uh, with your email marketing, obviously you cut the video. You're also going to put ad copy there as well. Um, but let's say you got a text block and then we're going to put the image here. So all you got to do is drag and drop from the right. So how we place the image in here is we just click choose image. It's real simple. We go to my images. Um, I already have it uploaded. So I just go, actually I'll show you, I'll go through it the entire process. So I click on upload from computer. Uh, I got to find it now because it's on my desktop. Example image, delete me. There we are. <coughs> just taking a second to load here. So. There we go. I'm going to click use image. That image is now going to pop up. Now what I need to do is I need to take the URL of the video and copy it. So control C. And then I'm going to go over to, I'm going to hover over the video or click on it. And you can see that little link, that little chain link. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to paste in that URL. I'm going to press OK. Now do you see how that link is uh, blue instead of gray? I'm just click, make sure it's there. OK, sweet. I'm going to save this. I'm not going to I'm not going to actually write an email. I'm just going to show you how to put the image in there. Uh, so I'm going to click next step. Um, I'm going to go to save and publish. So I'm going to save and publish this. I'm just going to test to make sure that this is working. Whenever you do anything, you always want to test. So I'm going to go view online. Get response allows you to go view online. All you got to do is press that little eyeball. That little eyeball there will go view online. Now look at that. It looks like we got a nice video there. So uh, I'm going to click play. Your reader is going to go through this and you're going to give them a call to action to say, hey, click the, click the video below. Watch this. They're going to be like, oh, there's a video there, a play button. They click on it. Boom. Takes them right to the video. So you probably ask yourself <coughs> questions right now. There you go. Uh, so uh, all you got to do is take a screenshot, crop the image out. If you want to, put a play button in it, plunk it into your email autoresponder. Uh, link it back to the URL and you now have a video inside of your GetResponse account. So hopefully that was helpful and uh, there you go. Let's, uh, let's make it happen. Talk to you guys later.